Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome if you're new. Um, so I just want to do a little bit of story time with you first. Um, so as some of you guys know, I've shared on Instagram that little Charlie has, uh, I think it's called, uh, my Charlie is my toy poodle. And he, um, I guess got hurt or something. Um, the dogs were walking and not like he got hurt, but apparently kind of got pushed into the couch like as the dogs were shuffling through. It's not a small, small place, space by any means, but I guess he kind of got shuffled through there. And they, he was crying for a couple of minutes while I was on vacation. My husband didn't really tell me because he knew that I would be really upset because Charlie's like my baby. And I shared photos on Instagram. I can share one here of him. Um, he is a toy poodle. So anyway, he ended up with this patella injury I can put what it's called here so if you guys have any experience with that will you please let me know because um he is going to have surgery but it's going to be a month away so we do have some activity restrictions that he'll have and things like that but if you've had experience with that would you please share whether that's on here or you Instagram message me I just am um I'm struggling uh you know I, I think I've shared this before that when I grew up, like I didn't have pets because of my family situation, um, because my mother and, um, she could barely afford to feed us kids. So obviously a pet wasn't going to happen. And so Charlie's like, we have a 11 year old golden doodle, but he's not like my dog. He loves the kids. You know, if you have pets, you totally get that. You get this connection with some of your pets more than others. And Charlie is just... I, I just adore him. He, when I'm struggling, he sits by me. He lays on my neck like he's my little scarf. He's the sweetest thing ever. And so my husband and I had a conversation about like surgery or not, or like what's best for him or whatnot. And so he is going to have surgery because I just can't think of any other option. And maybe that's hard for you because you know, you just would automatically do it. But we have five children in the home and you know, it's a big cost. You know, when you take your kids in, God forbid they are hurt or whatever, you know, you at least don't have to pay that bill in full. When your pet has something happen, you have to pay that bill that day, right? It's like, that's an expectation. So it's a little bit of a hit knowing we'll have to pay this amount in a month, which is fine. I'm not complaining because I love him. Um, but I do have some wax to de-stash, so I will be working on that so I can come up with a little extra cash in that sense. Um, and so I can always do summer school, but it actually won't work because with his surgery date, um, he would it would be only the second week of school and I would still have another week of school to do and I he would have nobody home with him, so it just doesn't work. And then he has six weeks, I think, of recovery and so I'm not gonna be working. And then this is going to be a little longer story time. Um, if you saw on Instagram as well, I shared that my sister is, um, you guys know she has stage four metastatic breast cancer. It's not curable um, unless God puts his healing hand on her um, and she will be in treatment forever. That's just how it goes with metastatic cancers. And um, so the treatment that she's using isn't working. So she had some scans this last week. And so she called me this last weekend and told me that they're trying to get into a clinical trial with Mayo Rochester, obviously an amazing place to be. Um, that was something that I worked on. My sister was at a different facility when she was diagnosed and I just kind of begged and plead, pleaded with her to get involved in Mayo and thank the Lord she did. So she, because her doctors are there, she's, it's just an easier process to get into the trial because she's already a patient. And then they just have to run a few tests. So can you just, if you lift her up or send good vibes, lift up and pray for her liver, the biopsy to go well. And then that her heart echo that she has to have. So it's a picture of her heart function. If that is good, then she can start this new regimen, this trial. Um, I'm just really nervous, but she reached out to me and just said, you know, can you help with meals and you know, with the kids if she needs it or pick up Walmart orders. And I have, to, of course, told her I could do anything she needs. Um, so kind of a lot happened this weekend. And I'm so glad I was able to go to Florida and relax as this all comes into play. You know, God knows these things. And so like, it was so nice to have that right, nice relaxing break. And so then come back home and a week later, all of this 
happens. So like, you know, I'm in a good place. I only have a couple weeks of school left and then Charlie's gonna have a surgery and my sister should start chemo soon if everything goes well within the next couple weeks on this new chemo trial. And I'm just praying that it helps with the liver because her other tumors are stable, but the liver is not, it's grown. And so anytime cancer, like if they're on chemo and cancer grows, they have to start a different chemo. Um, and this is the only option she has at this point. Um, the liver is being very persistent. And sadly, if you don't know with cancer, a lot of times it can be other things that lead to bad things. So that's what's going on in my life. So like I haven't posted videos. I've had these haul, these two boxes sitting here since I came back. No, I take that back. I got these last weekend, but I just wasn't in a good place to come on here. And it, you know what? I It's not that I need to be perky and happy and blah, blah, blah to post a video. I don't, I don't have that expectation. This is my channel. This is just the real me. Some days I'm going to be super crazy, busy and wild and crazy. And then other days I might cry. And like, that's, that's my life. Like life is like that. Um, but I will say that this is my channel and I just want to be real with you because we are all struggling with things in life. And I just want you to know that like, if you are struggling and you comment below and you have a prayer request, I will pray for you. If you want me to lift you up in good vibes, if you don't believe in the Lord, like that's totally fine with me. I'm, I'm okay with whatever. Um, I just think as a community, we should just be kind and lift each other up. So whatever I can do to help you, please let me know. Um, I haven't even painted my nails because this week has just been a week. And you know what? It's not about that. If you saw on Instagram, my husband put in another flower bed or another planter above the ground planter for me. So now I have five beds right outside my window here and they're beautiful and gorgeous. And I spent all weekend in the garden as well, you know, crying and praying. Um, and, um, so I'm happy. So now after almost seven minutes, let's get into this rose girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. This is a pre-order. I don't know dates. She doesn't have invoices in here. So um, it's, it's fine. I don't care. Jenny Oaks is the owner of Rose Girls. I, I will say the other reason I didn't share this is because my smell has been off. <laughs> Because I haven't been feeling well. Well, yeah, there's been other reasons for that, apparently. Anyway, <laughs> so my smell is still a little bit off. So I just bear with me. Um, I didn't do a melting. What did what did I warm basket or will I warm it basket? Because I've kind of been putting wax in and leaving it for a couple days. So it's just things are a little bit different this last couple weeks. Um, this was so there's nothing on the bottom of this box. This is on top with this. Um, you know, it's with wax melters. I don't really think there's going to be like damage in the sense and it's warm out. So, um, I know she has a restock on the 18th, which is tomorrow, right? That's why I wanted to post this video, get it up, hopefully uploaded tonight. Um, so I, this is a good size order. I think let's go through the sample first. This is Berry Bellini Tangerine Gelato. I looked at this I think this is in this RT or in the RTS. This definitely, it's more tangerine and I do smell some berries in there, but this isn't my cup of tea. I love Satsuma, but I'm not a big um, citrus person. And so it's good. It's just, you can't ask my opinion because I'm not a citrus lover unless it's Satsuma or some blends. It's good. I think if you love citrus blends, you would love this because it really is pretty. And I'm happy to have it. Thank you, Jenny, for sending me a sample. I will warm it. My kids love citrus. My husband does. So I'm not sad about it. I love getting those kind of scents because then it kind of gives me, you know, an idea. Okay, I got two of Don't Kale My Vibe, which is grass, cannabis flower, coastal kale. Um, beautiful green. Uh -huh, kind of matches me. Um, I've had this before in a mini melter muffin. And I love this. It's definitely, you get kale. I do smell grass. Cannabis flower. I don't know. Like, what is it? I don't know what that's supposed to smell like. I didn't know cannabis had flowers, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a nice green, earthy kind of scent. Um, like I said, I've had it before. It's warmed well. I use this in my bedroom bathroom. It's a nice calming scent. Uh, maybe the way, maybe that's why I like it. Because the cannabis flower is calming. I don't know. Um... I only got mini melters. I know she had mini melter loaves and I know she had those cute little muffins, but based on the size and the price, this made more sense to go with the boring mini melters because although those muffins are super cute, it's not 
and these are just easier for me to store and I've had the mini melter loaves before and just this works better for me so that's I got all mini melter bags so just bear with me okay I got two in pond scum <laughs> this is this is a big list salty sea air green foliage coriander cedar oak moss jasmine bergamot okay um first of all I love the name and I do like oceanic green and scents in salty sea air this just sounded great to me I love salty sea air okay I definitely get maybe the green foliage like it's very green and earthy salty sea air I can't really get I get more salt like when you go to the ocean and you kind of get like the water splashed in your mouth and you accidentally swallow a little bit and you're like oh. No, I'm not saying that's bad. I love that because I love the ocean. I, clearly, I spent a week sitting on the ocean or on the beach. Mm. I don't know about jasmine and bergamot. Maybe a little bit of jasmine. Oh, this is really good. This is a very unique blend, but I think you have to like um, like green, earthy kind of notes because, again, pond scum, it, it really does smell very earthy and like I said, it's kind of like the salt, but it's not salty sea air. So great. I look forward to that. That's the first time I've ever had that. Okay, let's go to the other ones that you're going to think I'm like, why did I get that scent? Because maybe it doesn't seem like something you think I would get. But crawler hunting. Okay, we've done night crawler hunting like my boys fish. So they always go look for night crawlers. So of course I was going to get this. And I do love dirt scents. If you don't know that. Again, I know that doesn't seem like something you think I would like, but I really do like earthy scents. So this is dirt, rain, and concrete. Hmm. I definitely smell dirt in this. So if you do not like dirt, <laughs> stay away from this. It's just it's very earthy. What else is in this rain and concrete? I don't know. Like I'm thinking about when we poured our concrete driveway like what does that even smell like this is a very unique blend I, I wonder if somebody created this I mean like if this was like a customer creation or if this was Jenny's because this is so unique and original I really look forward to warming this I will tell you that gosh it's just so unique I have to say you must love dirt and here I am smelling it like 20 times I'm so sorry <laughs> I just it it does, like, you get a little bit of, like, here's how I would describe this. Let's say you're sitting outside and your kids are playing with chalk. So you're sitting on your concrete driveway. I mean, I have a concrete, so I'm going to go with the concrete because it's like this, right? So you're sitting on the concrete and you're by kind of the grass, too, and it starts to rain. And you kind of get that dirty concrete smell after it rains. That's what I get from this. So just imagine yourself sitting outside playing with sidewalk chalk by the grass and it starts raining. You get all of those smells in your face. I'm here for that because the other thing I love watching my kids do is when they have water balloon fights, they, um, and it was hot this last weekend and I was struggling, you know, just because of everything. And my kids, I love listening to them laugh. And so I was sitting in my hammock outside and they were, um, playing with water balloons because I bought them this water balloon pumper and they love water balloons. And so they were so cold. So they were laying on the cement and getting warm. This again, if you would, if you were to do that at your age, I think this is what that would smell like. And my kids are like, Oh, the, <laughs> the um, sidewalk's so warm. It's like, okay, whatever you need. So that's kind of what I get from that. I hope that helps. I think it's nostalgic. I'm going to warm that and I really look forward to that. That was me going out on a limb because it's a little bit off for me, but I really do enjoy dirt blends. I don't like smelling dirt, dirt, but I like blends. Okay. That was a long explanation. I hope you're here for that. Okay. I'm just trying to pull specific like bakery or whatever. What else do I have? Okay. Mermaid hair. I think I've had this before. So this is honeydew, mandarin, kiwi, apricot, watermelon, Tiara flower, leche blossom, coconut water. I'm pretty sure I have had this in a, in I think a mini muffin. This is really good. I definitely get like some floral in this with, I can smell honeydew, but it almost gets 
Like, it's a very beautiful scent, almost like a girly, feminine, perfumey kind of scent. It's very pretty. I've had this before, so clearly I liked it. So I think I use this in the bedroom bathroom. So this would be great in there. I look forward to wearing this in the summer, like right now, because it's kind of a flory, girly scent. Okay, one I've had, I love, 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 love this scent. It is 124 Conk Street, Apartment B. If you don't know what is Con 124 is Conk Street is SpongeBob's address. My kids love that show. It's Blue Hawaiian Bora Bora Gilligan's. This is my favorite. To me, this is the essence of sitting by, like, when you go on vacation and you're sitting by the pool, but you're, it's right by the ocean and you kind of have a nice fruity drink in your hand and you get the breeze of the water. Oh, it, this Bora Bora, I think, is kind of that, like, is it pineapple, coconut, something like that? And I know Gilligan's Brew is like, a, I think, a coconut or milk blend, isn't it? I think if you want a what summer essence is, I, I really love this. It's so pretty. I love the colors. I love that scent. Okay. I think the rest are, are new. No, this one I've had before. Did someone say cookies? It's brown sugar cookies, blackberry jam, butter cookie, royal sugar cookie, monster cookie. I love the colors. Oh, it's so good. So good. I had this before, but I had it in a mini muffin and I felt like the mini muffin wasn't, I wasn't get, getting the performance that I needed from that. So to me, it was very disappointing, but I knew people had the mini melters and they said they loved it. I'm really hoping this performs. This is amazing. Like you get a toasty cookie. Um, again, my smelling's a little off, so I'm really trying to sniff this bag. <laughs> if that annoys you, just look away. Um, I definitely get the monster cookie, the cookies, blackberry jam that I do smell that, but it's not as strong as like her did, um, grandma got run over by a chain chomp. That's very strong on the blackberry jam. This one, I get more of the cookies, the crunchy cookie, the monster cookie, and then some of that blackberry jam butter cookie. Now this I like, um, like I said, the other one I didn't have good luck with. Okay. I've had this one before. Strawberry Cookie Land. Again, I had this in a mini muffin and I didn't like your performance. So I thought, again, people have had good luck with this in mini melters and other forms. So I don't know if those, those muffins I had just clearly had issues because everybody loves these two cents and I didn't have good luck with them in the mini muffins. This is Strawberry Pound Cake, Confetti Cake, Toffee Butterscotch Pretzels and Cookies, which is the Cookie Land. So this is if you've had a cookie land, this is a great cookie toffee blend and then add the strawberry pound cake. I look forward to warming this. I really hope it performs better than mini muffin did. Okay, the last five. <laughs> yes, I got free shipping, okay? Okay, um, I have not had before. This is Angels Among Us, which I love the name. This is blackberry jam butter cookies and I really do love that scent. Strawberry shortcake, saltwater taffy. So I thought, well, I wanna try Something that kind of screams summer to me. And this is a pre-order. Definitely get the strawberry jam butter cookies. Um, I do smell saltwater taffy. I don't know about strawberry shortcake. I get more of the blackberry jam and the saltwater taffy, which this is beautiful on cold. Okay, I'm happy about that. If you love like the blackberry jam butter cookies, I would, this is great. I really do love that scent. Okay. Let's go with Level Up. It's Blackberry, Coastal Cal, Satsuma, and Raindrops. You know I'm going to love that because it has Coastal Kale. So this is very strong in the Coastal Kale. I definitely smell the Satsuma because, again, that's a um, body shop dupe, and it's very strong. Those are the two that I smell. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm smelling. I'm not mad about that. Maybe when it warms, I'll get more of the blackberry and the raindrops. I don't care. I love Coastal Kale. This is beautiful. Love Coastal Kale. Some of my other vendors finally have gotten Coastal Kale. So I'm I'm like, I love Coastal Kale. Okay, let's do this one. It's Palo Santo Peeps Cake. I just love Palo Santo. And she doesn't generally always do Palo blends. So I thought, okay. So it says, Woodsy Collides with Bakery. Peeps cake to me sometimes is very light. So I was, I'm a little hesitant on this one. Definitely get Palo. And I get sweet P 
keep. So I do get that. So I do enjoy this one on cold. I love the colors. I love Paolo. So again, I just, I went with it. I honestly don't know if I'm going to be ordering from the RTS. A, I have to work. And unless I can take my lunch at that time. So I don't really know, but I will tell you that I did smell these scents beforehand because I've had them here for like how many days now? The last two I'm going to tell you that are, I just do not love them. <laughs> I really, really don't love them. <laughs> um, no, I really do love them. Okay. It's a joke. This is banana birthday cake cookie land. I love cookie land. I love her Moomoo tracks. If you like Moomoo tracks or you want a banana, can I recommend this? This is banana birthday cake. And then again, the cookie land is the toffee, butter, scotch, pretzels, cookies, confetti cake. If you like bananas and you like cookie land, it's just so, so, so good. I mean, it's really bad. You don't want to get this. Please don't buy this. You don't want this. Okay, that was my subliminal. If it works, great. But I, it's so good. If you love banana. Oh my gosh. Every time I say banana or think of that, I think of Minions Banana. Clearly, I have children because I've watched that I don't know how many times. Okay, the last one. First of all, I must, must warn you that you have to like her espresso blend. I will tell you that I love her espresso blend. I don't know what magic she has in it, but I love it. Okay. Jacked up. So I wasn't going to order this and I was like, yes, I am because I really do love espresso. But here's the why I was a little hesitant. The first scent is vanilla hazelnut mocha. A, I don't generally like coffee or I don't generally like chocolate in my wax. And hazelnut, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if I like hazelnuts. But then I'm like, espresso, sugar milk, Rice Krispie treats. Well, all of those sound fabulous. I wish I could eat all of those together. This is so good. <laughs> but you must like espresso. Oh, so I get that. I do get a little bit of some chocolate in this. Oh. Gosh, this is so, I don't really smell Rice Krispie Treats. I think that's like a nice blender. Um, sugar milk, honestly, I really do smell like a creamy, dreamy vanilla hazelnut mocha with a strong shot of espresso, and then you throw it all together. Oh, it's great. But, you know, I know Fire Mario is a big favorite fan favorite. I absolutely love that. A lot of people don't like espresso. So again, if you don't like espresso and then you don't like chocolate, this would not be for you. I will tell you that there is the chocolate there. I can absolutely smell that. Um, but the espresso and then the other blends help just cream that out. It, it's very, very good. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so that's what I got for you. That was a pre-order and it was a little large and that's okay. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to order from the RTS just because there would just be two that I really, really wanted. I may watch some haul videos tonight and that could change. I'm not going to promise anything. Okay. It's been a stressful week. I'm not going to promise anything. I, um, I think I ordered from, I just placed an order. Oh, I did a pre-order with someone else. And I kind of went a little crazy because that one doesn't do pre-orders often. So, um, so anyway, um, and you'll see that in my next video who it is. So you, I'll say it in that video as well. But I hope you enjoyed my story time, and you know, just know that I'm real and who I am. And I will put a timestamp down below. So if you don't want to watch this, um, like the intro part of me story time, you don't have to. I'm not offended. I. It's, I do this for fun. Like I have a full-time job. I have children. Like I do this for fun. So if somebody doesn't want to watch my video or you want to fast forward it, I'm not offended. If you want to click the little button, is it on this corner usually? And then you can change the speed of my voice. I mean, maybe I sound like an ecstatic chipmunk when you increase me to two times speed. You can two times speed this and giggle and laugh at me. And may, I probably still sound normal, maybe. I don't know. I should try it on myself. But with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye, guys.